Hi everyone. It's no secret that Villanova has one of the most beautiful college campuses in the country, especially because of the trees. Earth Day is just over six months away, so in honor of that, we're counting down the top 10 trees on Villanova's campus. Number 10, the Ginkgo tree. Now this tree is really cool because of its leaves. So on the leaves there are veins and they actually look like hair. I haven't seen them, but I believe it, you know. I think that's a pretty plausible thing. But the leaves are also cool because they all drop in one night. So, you know, it's, uh, it's fall, so be on the lookout for that. There's a lot of quality trees on the campus green, but for number nine, I had to pick the Burr Oak. I chose the Burr Oak because it happens to be the oldest tree on campus. I mean, this is a really old tree. It might have even been around for one of the times that Tolentine burned down. I'm not sure though, because I don't know when that happened. I just know that it happened a couple times. Number eight, this one. You know, it's um, it's pretty, it's pretty small and weak and kind, kind of lame in general. But you know, it's really trying its best, and I think that's worth something. So that was enough to to sneak it onto the bottom part of this list. Number seven, the Dawn Redwood. Now this tree is actually called a living fossil because it was thought to be extinct until about 1941 when some were found in China. And this particular tree was actually grown in the Arnold Arboretum in Boston, which is really close to my house. And I think that that's pretty cool. Number six, this tree that's kind of like diagonally in front of Dogerty. Now this is an underrated one. It doesn't really get a lot of love from the students here, but I think it should for one reason, because no matter how tall you think it is, I guarantee you it's like just a little bit taller because I'll walk towards this one and I'll be thinking, wow, that's like a big tree. And then I get closer and I get a good look at it and I'm like, wow, that's like a really big tree. You know, it's just always taller than you think. Number five is this fella over on South Campus right in the middle of like Stanford and uh, that whole green space in the middle. Now this one's interesting because if you look closely, it's actually not one tree, but four trees that are just kind of close together. And you know, technically that sort of disqualifies it from being on the list as a unit. But I thought that since, you know, it was the only one not on main campus, it deserved a pretty big shout out. Number four, this really tall tree in front of Sheehan. Now, what I like about this tree is that it's just so vertical. You know, most trees that are this tall, they're also pretty wide, but this one is just fully committed to the Y axis. And I think we really have to commend it for that. Number three, this tree by Kennedy Hall. Now, this is a very underrated tree, in my opinion. It does not get nearly the love it deserves. I mean, it's so big and it's so central on campus. That's really that's all you can ask for from any college campus tree. And yet, there were still two more that beat it out on this list. Number two, Demir Cosby Round Tree. Now, contrary to popular belief, Demir Cosby Round Tree actually is not a real tree. He's a person. And that's why we couldn't put him at number one on this list. But either way, He's on the basketball team, so he's pretty much as tall as a tree, and he seems like a pretty cool guy. And finally, number one, the Tolentine Kissing Tree. Now, it should come as no surprise to anyone that this is number one, because it's one of the most iconic trees on campus among students. It got the name the Kissing Tree because sometimes people come here to kiss because of the, the privacy that the leaves provide. Thank you for watching Top 10 Trees of Villanova. And remember, with Earth Day coming up, do your part to protect trees by killing lanternflies whenever you see them.